Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with the first in a three-part series, An Idiot Buys a Bala Song. Uh, I, uh, I have not had a Bala Song in a very, very, very long time, and I was a child when I did. little backstory, uh, my father, uh, when I was 10, 11, 12 years old, we went to a county fair. So this is like 1985, 86, 87. I was somewhere in the, the, the early double digits. Um, we were at a county fair. I remember it was $12. I picked it up for one of those little booth things and said I wanted it. And my father bought it for me. I remember even the guy selling it didn't think it was a great idea. <laughs> but um, my my father sometimes made poor decisions. So uh, he, he bought that and gave it to me. And that was really my first real knife I remember owning that was like my own um, was that. And I'd flip it around, and I never really learned much. We didn't have the internet back then, you know. We didn't have the internet back in those days. I couldn't watch instructional videos. I had to figure it out all with my own seven digits. Um, now, I actually didn't cut myself that bad on it because it's exactly what you would think a $12 knife from a county fair would be. I mean, it was more money than now. It's equivalent to probably like 30 bucks now, but still, it was it was not great. It was not sharp. Uh, so I didn't cut myself very much on it. Uh, I actually only cut myself on it later on when uh, my father uh, learned to sharpen knives and he sharpened it for me. And then I cut myself a couple times. Never anything bad because by then I, I kind of had the hang of it. But I do remember nicking myself a couple times. Uh, but it eventually fell apart or something. I don't know. All I remember, it was all black. I don't think it even had a brand name. I don't know what it was. But now, fast forward 25, 26 years at least, because I only had it for two or three years. So at least probably 25, 26 years going to see if I remember. And the reason why what inspired me to do this is this new model from Kershaw. This is the Luca 5150, also a great Van Halen album. Um, you know what? Probably, actually, when I had my last battle song, I probably was sitting around listening to 5150, sitting in my room in the basement, uh, flipping it around and thinking about my teenage angst and how I hated my parents, even though they were awesome. Awesome enough to buy me a battle song when I was 12 years old. But anyway, it is a USA made Kershaw. It's 120 bucks, really good specs, and seems to be getting pretty good reviews from people who know more about battle songs than I do as an entry level sort of battle songs. They're, they're mostly decent ones are pretty expensive. So I really think this is probably going to take off and be pretty popular. So I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll give one a shot. And thank you very much to Southern Edge Knife Works for enabling me for this. They sent this along to me. I really appreciate it. Go to southernedgeknifeworks.com. Use the code SDSEK at checkout. You get 50% off and free shipping. And uh, you guys have been using the hell out of that, and I really appreciate it. So I don't know if to say thank you to them, or maybe we'll see how this goes. I might I might be very mad at them. Maybe Chad just sent this to me because he wants to see me cut myself. Uh, but we will see. That's pretty likely. This is first in a three-part series. I have not opened this box. I have not watched any training videos intentionally. I want to go into this completely cold. The only reason I didn't open it out of the actual package it came in is there's another knife that... I didn't want to show you guys yet, so that one I, I, I put aside. Uh, it'll be on my Instagram here shortly, but um, I'll do a video on it at some point. Uh, let's just say I don't normally do sprint runs, but I did get this one. I'll explain when I do the video about it. So uh, here we go. I'm going to open it up. This is my absolute first time opening it, first time touching a Bala song in, yeah, 25, 26 years. I'm trying to get it exactly, but man, Kershaw box is always such a pain. There we go. Have our bubble wrap. It's a lot of bubble wrap. Maybe it's enough to cover my hand while I do this. That might not be a bad idea, but you can see I have not opened it. It's still all sticky shut. All right. Man, this is pretty nice. It is big, though. That is my first impression. It is big. What is it closed? It is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a full six inches closed. So I do have some stats here. We'll do some stats and maybe a couple size comparisons towards the end. But first impressions are it's pretty nice. Stainless steel handles, 14C, 28N steel. <clears throat> Runs on KVT ball bearings, which is really nice. A pretty quality looking little catch there. Some nice standoffs in the back. Does not have a pocket clip. I do wish it had a pocket clip because as part of this series, I'm going to be carrying this and only this. Other than some review knives and secondaries, because I have to, you know, because I got to feed the beast and keep you guys with content. But this is going to be my primary EDC for the next week. And I'm just going to see how I like it and see if I injure myself or not. And once this initial impression is over, I'm going to watch some videos and stuff and try and learn how to do things properly. 
And then, um, cause I did see there are a lot on YouTube. So I will look those up. If, if any of you guys are Bayless song people down below and you want to recommend videos I should watch, please do. Uh, I would very much appreciate that. Um, cause honestly, I'm probably just going to start watching the first ones I see. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is really quality made Man, 120 bucks. I mean, it feels like 120 bucks to me in this first impression. Now, now I'm going to try and open it. Let's see. This is the, I'm sure there's a technical term for it, but I call it, this is the non-cutty side. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, try to remember how I used to open it. Yeah, that's how I used to. Yeah, okay, I got that down. I got it open without hurting myself. I know there's a fancier way to do it. I remember my cousin Shane had one too. He had a nicer one though. And I know he taught me how to do it right, but how to do it the fancy movie way where there's two moves. What is it? You go like, I was like over the top. This is really hard with this monopod in the way. And then you flip it. I remember there was a rotation and then close it again. And I don't know. I don't remember at all. And then you flipped it. I don't remember. Uh, I just like my easy, cheesy way of doing it. But I do want to learn at least one battle song trick by the end of this week. That is that is my goal. I want one battle song trick. Uh, this is uh, this is a really nice piece though. 14C 28N, as I said, uh, really unique blade shape. I guess that's something to do with weighting it and things like that. Um, but uh, it's, what, it's pretty darn sharp, unfortunately. <laughs> so um, let me grab some paper. And that'll give us a preview as to uh, how badly I'm going to cut myself in the process of this next week. This is uh, it's your standard printer paper. Oh, I'm going to cut myself so bad. Oh, there goes another finger. There goes another finger. Maybe I should dull it before I start. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be a pansy. I should have bought a trainer, too, and really gone full on in it. But I think, I think this is... Uh, I think most people who have ballast songs buy trainers after they cut themselves a few times. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe smart people don't, but I think most people do that. Um, no, I just wanted to experience it as it is. Uh, but let's do some specs really quick, and then I'll ramble on again for a minute more. But uh, we have an overall length of 10 and a quarter inches. I'm just reading this off their stats. Uh, blade length of 4.6 inches. Blade thickness of 0 0.16 inches, handle thickness is 0 0.43, and a weight of 5.9 ounces, which is heavy, but um, it's not that bad for stainless steel and and a really big blade. It's honestly not too bad. Oh, that catch works. It doesn't. It's kind of hard when it's open. How is it when it's closed? Yeah, much easier when it's closed. I know a lot of people don't use them at all when they're open, but sometimes if you're really doing something, I still like to have, I, when I was a kid anyway, because I'd go out and hack at trees and stuff with mine, and I would always want the safety latch flipped. Maybe that's why mine broke. Maybe I'm not supposed to do that. Again, in the comments down below, am I not supposed to use it when it's open? Because it doesn't seem to want to be used. So tell me that down below. Am, am I screwing that up already? As I said, complete bally newbie. I just want to, I want to, I want to learn. So uh, let me know. Um, all right, some quick size comparisons. What do we have out here? We have the usual spider codes. I'm just going to put the pan two out there. So there we go. And um, I just said I wasn't going to show it, but yeah, the Rex 45 Manix. Just forget you saw that. Forget you saw it. Uh, here's another big knife. This is the full size uh, Presidio two. The new Dash 1 with the CF Elite. Yeah, that's a big knife, as you can see. Not going to bore you with a whole ton of those. But yeah, it's just you guys can follow along. Got this video today, then just my first impressions and me managing to not cut myself, which I'm very happy. Although the video's not over yet, I guess. <laughs> and, um, and then Tuesday, I will do a video showing like what videos I've watched, try and learn some tricks. I will film it more facing me, so... You guys can watch me screw up on the tricks, and that'll be fun for everybody. That's probably the video I'm most likely to cut myself in. And then on Friday, a week from today, this is the 6th of March, I will do a um, an actual uh, you know like summary of what it was like to carry this as a primary EDC for a week. Because I know some people, I know lots of guys who do actually just EDC these things. One of the guys who is the manager at one of the knife shops by here, like he just swears by... That's all he carries is a ballast on because they are legal in New York now. 
there was a, a bit of time when we weren't really sure, but now I know they are because every knife shop you walk into that sells them has the, the law posted like either like on the top of the case or on the door explaining New York law dash blah, 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 dash blah, 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 and it makes them legal. So yes, I will be your idiot for the next week and we will see if I, uh, how much I hurt myself. I don't think it's a question of if, but when. It's like a death and taxes. It's going to catch up with you eventually. I know I'm going to I know I'm going to cut myself somehow because this thing is pretty sharp. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll see. Um, I may, I'm sure my son's going to want to flip it around a little bit too. But uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool knife. 120 bucks. I mean, good steel. It's very good construction. But the machining quality is awesome. It is USA made. All that stuff runs on bearings. It's very smooth. Um, we shall see what happens. Uh I know you guys are going to be sitting there chanting, cut yourself, cut yourself, cut yourself. I do have a lot of Band-Aids. Uh, side note here, uh, before we go, I do swear by uh, Band-Aid Hydro Seal Band-Aids. They are amazing. They do not pay me, but I'm actually going to do a video about them because they are so great. Um, I used to be uh, a real big fan of the new skin and stuff, you know, when I was uh, racing mountain bikes. That stuff works great, but I had a pretty nasty cut. It still looks kind of nasty because the skin is peeling off from it, but... um it would not heal. And I've Wolverine like healing skills usually, but this one just wouldn't heal. And after a, uh, like a full day of it not clotting up, I put one of those Hydra Seal ones on it. You just put it on, you leave it and for three or four days, you take it off and the cut's healed up. And that's it. And it basically was closed right up. It looked, it, and it looked pretty good until it started peeling, but that's just my stupid dry skin. That always happens. But anyway, all right, keep watching. Don't hope for cuts. I know you're all gonna anyway, but uh, yeah. And if somebody can comment down below, am I supposed to use this catch when it's when it's open? I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm not because I feel like I'm bending like the handles a little bit when I do that, and I don't want to damage it. So, is the catch bad, or you're just not supposed to do that? I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comments down below. And again, recommend some good videos for me to learn from, and uh, especially if they're people you know, because I'm gonna pimp them on the on the next video which will about be tuesday maybe wednesday probably tuesday hope you guys have enjoyed this and uh keep watching this series it's gonna be fun whole week with just this i've been brian have a good one